we are going to show you today how to use an exhibit in the Spacecraft Interactive Virtual Reality Museum. So you see down here we have the toolbar. Uh, we have this on the bottom here we have zoom in, zoom out, so you can zoom out and zoom in. You can move up or down using these arrows and left and right if you would like to. Uh, this, if you just want to look at the exhibit itself, you can take all the hotspots off and then uh, look around it and move around, see all of it without the hotspots. Sorry about that. And the other thing, uh, we'll put the hotspots back in. Now you can move around also by just moving this arrow. Also, this is the easiest way is use the hand and move it around. So you can move it that way. Uh, then you can also do an auto tour where it just starts turning by itself. Uh, so that uh, if you have any questions, there's a help screen right over here, tells you how to work it. So that's the basics on how to use the toolbar on the bottom. Also, oh, hide controls, click this, controls go away. The next thing I want to show you is what happens when you click on the green dots. So if we zoom in and we go on the body mounted attitude gyro one temperature warning light and click on it this is what will happen now you can see it is for the caution and warning display uh, if you look up here Apollo 11 guy but down here is um, this is always going to be in the top corner and it's a visual reference to where this is from so you can see this is the page of the system and if you click on the body mounted attitude gyro run temperature warning light this page is going to come up it's going to have a little image it's going to tell you what it is it's going to tell you about it it's going to go over general information uh, see general data uh, then I'm going to do non-normal operations which here you'll see operational limits and restrictions uh, so that'll be for non-normal, for normal operations. It'll be functional description, tells you how it works. Uh, schematics, uh, tell you all about powering it. And as you can see down here, this is where the panel is, but these are all the components that go into it. And then finally, limitations. So the next thing I want to show you are these eyes up here and these little eyes are information so this will take you to the uh, to the section so this takes you to this panel here caution and warning this one takes you to the comm section which is down below um, electrical system environmental control system flight control system which is over here uh, reaction control system which is below and service module reaction control system now all of those will take you to the panel like I said you would click on this and it'll bring up all the lights in this panel it's the one that uh, comes up if you go to if you click on a green dot and you'll see that little panel up here that's what that eye is for other thing I wanted to show you, we'll go over here, we'll bring the up, is this. Now this is how you transition between the lunar, uh, the command module and the lunar module. So you can click on this um, violet dot that says space tunnel hatch to lunar module. Click on that and that takes you to the lunar module and then you can go through the dots here and then if you want to go back if you go to the top you'll notice that there is another violet dot there and you click on that and that takes you back to the command module so there you have it this is how you get a tour um, walking tour of the apollo 11 command module and lunar module with all the uh, with most of the 
spacecraft labeled for you. So to actually go and get this exhibit, you go to Patreon and then you look up Spacecraft Interactive Virtual Reality Museum and then you'll click on the interactive virtual uh, exhibit of the Apollo spacecraft. Thanks again and I'll have more for you next week.